Peter, it's going to be a big day today no. uh, politically. So I'd love you to explain this for us today. Uh, a vote. I'd love second... someone to explain it to me, Rosie. <laughs> it's really complicated. The, the second time there's going to be a vote that was called by the SNP, and we can mm -hmm. ask John about that in a, in a moment, uh, about whether there should be a ceasefire. The wording, the terminology of this has been really thorny politically, quite challenging yes. for the Labour Party. Last time they voted on this three months ago, um, Labour didn't vote with it. Today, the Labour Party have changed their stance. They've put forward an amendment. So do the Conservatives. Explain it all I'm for I'm confused us. already. OK, so the SNP basically, to all intents and purposes, say there should be an immediate ceasefire in uh, Gaza. That's what they want to happen. Right. Now, the problem for Labour is it's not their motion and the SNP or their political opponents. So a few months ago, as you correctly say, 56 Labour MPs voted against it. They had 10 front benchers who resigned as a result of this because the motion was very different. Things have changed now in Gaza. The Labour motion, very, very similar to the SNP one, but not exactly the same. They want to vote on that. But then the government came in and said, actually, we've got our own motion, so we're going to get a vote on the SNP motion. We'll probably get a vote on the government motion. And then if that happens and if that's carried, well, then it's unlikely that Labour's motion goes forward. All so, right, motions are one thing. What are we actually talking about? Because we have trolled for the last what, few hours trying to understand this. This is about a word. I mean, yesterday Prince William got, you know, I, I want the fighting to stop. Yes. People are either saying, presumably, mm. let's have a ceasefire now or yes. let's not have a ceasefire. But all these people are getting involved and adding words about a media or a pause yes. or whatever. The great British public, with respect to everybody here, it lacks, it doesn't even understand anymore. That we're all in the dark. What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. It's completely meaningless. As if, <laughs> as if Benjamin Netanyahu is going to sit there in Jerusalem yeah. and go, well, Joanna Cherry from the SNP thinks this, therefore I'm going to stop doing the military operations that I'm doing in Gaza. Absolutely but, nonsense. Peter, it matters for two things. One is that the, it says the UK government has a view on what's yes. happening on the world stage. Yeah, yes. And also it does matter politically because some politicians, and um, whether we kind of all individually care about who makes what decision, Politically, there's quite a lot of game playing going on here, which yes. could undermine yes. uh, other people, and particularly for the Labour Party, that's been a challenge because they've sort of really changed their approach in the last few months. That's a very good point. And actually, the SNP is trying to make life difficult for the government and for the Labour Party, specifically the Labour Party. Maybe John can talk about that in a second. But obviously, the SNP and Labour are the two main rivals in Scotland. Then we have the situation where the government's trying to uh, come in, basically make life more difficult for Labour. This is all politicking. This isn't really about... look. I have absolutely no doubt that the people voting for this motion really, really care and want there to be a ceasefire in Gaza. There's not going to be one because of anything that's passed in the UK House of Commons tonight. That is not going to happen. But at the same time, they make their intentions clear. But there is a bit of politicking here. There is a bit of making life difficult for other people. But isn't I that interesting, just to jump in, bringing you, John, in as well? Uh, lots of people, and we talked uh, just then about Prince William yesterday, have a very strong opinion on that, and that's understandable. Whatever side of the, the, the fence or the coin that you see it from... Really bad to think, though, isn't it? While everybody's pontificating and pre pretending that they care about world events, that actually it is polity, whatever the word you use, politicking, and no more than that. I mean, it, it might sound cynical, John, what, what Peter said, but he's right. Benjamin Netanyahu and Hamas don't give a damn what happens in the British Parliament, do they? No, I think that's absolutely correct. We're on day 188 uh, since Hamas attacked Israel. Uh, absolutely dreadful situation. We've had uh, thousands of 26, uh, 29,000, I think, uh, uh, Palestinians killed, 12,000 or more children. Um, people all over the world are calling for ceasefires and we're arguing about words. The SNP want an immediate ceasefire. Labour want an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. The, the UK government wants negotiations for an immediate humanitarian pause. It's all about words. And as you say, it's about politic. And I think we're facing a situation in the Commons today where it's very like what happened in November. The Labour Party has moved closer to the SNP's position, but they're not quite there. The latest information seems to be that Starmer does not want Labour MPs to support the SNP motion. If that happens, it means a big number of Labour MPs at 56, uh, as Peter said the last time, 
10 front benchers could vote with the SNP. Now, that's just politicking, but at the end of the day, the SNP will claim a major victory on that because they'll have split the Labour Party, who they are, are their main opponents in Scotland. The SNP are playing it big that they represent what they call the conscience of uh, the Houses of Parliament and that they've dragged Labour kicking and screaming and lies the uh, politicking to that, that position. Peter was specifically talking about. John, thank you so much. John Boothman uh, from The Times. Peter, really appreciate you guiding us through what is going to be quite a, a thorny and tricky political day today. We'll have more on that for you uh, later on.